Following the Grenfell Tower tragedy, concerns were raised that soil around the tower may be contaminated. The government asked a group of experts from specialist government agencies to oversee a project to independently test the soil so that any potential risks are fully understood and managed as part of the relevant legislation. ACOM, a company with experience and expertise in environmental issues, was appointed to undertake this work. And, in May, 120 residents met scientists from the company during a series of community workshops. The workshops allowed the community to share their concerns and highlight areas for further investigation. Some residents from the North Kensington community accompanied the scientists as they surveyed the area and identified where to take samples from. David is one of the scientists working on the project. Hi, I'm David and I'm an environmental scientist working for ACOM. The purpose of the last two days has been to work out exactly which sites we should be testing. The exploratory testing will involve collecting shallow soil samples for later analysis to carry out environmental testing for the exploratory sampling. The next step will be to, to come back to the sites we've selected and collect the soil samples in early June. The samples will be sent off to a laboratory and the results from that will help us decide the next steps at stage two. In early June, soil samples from outside the Grenfell Tower cordon were taken. These were in addition to the samples already collected from within the cordon. The soil sampling process involves scraping back the grass and turf, digging the soil up to a depth of five centimetres, placing the soil in sample jars, labelling the jars and sending them off in a cool box to the laboratory. Once the sampling has been completed, we backfill the hole and tidy up. The samples will now be analysed and compared with historical land records and results from soil tests conducted as part of previous planning applications to form an accurate picture of how the Grenfell Tower fire may have affected the soil. Once complete, the report will be published alongside the raw data and the government will set out what needs to happen next as part of the second stage of the testing programme.